The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is one of the most advanced tools ever made for exploring space. It allows scientists to look deeper into the universe than any other telescope before it. JWST doesn't only look at nearby planets or stars. It also studies very distant parts of the universe, including galaxies formed billions of years ago. One of its key abilities is studying exoplanets, which are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. These planets are often very far from Earth. Some exoplanets are located in what scientists call the habitable zone. This is the area around a star where temperatures might allow liquid water to exist. Liquid water is one of the most important ingredients needed for life. That's why planets in the habitable zone are very exciting to researchers. JWST helps us look at the atmosphere of these faraway planets. It can detect gases like methane and carbon dioxide, which are linked to life on Earth. When we find carbon-based molecules in space, it gives scientists hope that life might exist somewhere beyond our planet. It's not proof, but it's a clue. One of the stars JWST observed is located about 120 light-years away from Earth. Around that star is a planet that might have these special molecules in its air. Carbon-based molecules, such as methane and carbon dioxide, are found wherever life exists on Earth. Finding them elsewhere is a big deal. Even if we just find signs of water or simple molecules in space, it means life-supporting environments might not be so rare. A planet called K218b has caught the attention of scientists. It is much larger than Earth, about 8.6 times bigger, and is known as a sub-Neptune planet. Sub-Neptune planets are bigger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. We don't have any planets like that in our own solar system, so they're very interesting. K218b might have a thick atmosphere and even large oceans beneath the clouds. JWST found signs of important gases like methane and carbon dioxide there. These gases help scientists guess what conditions might be like on that planet. They give us clues without having to travel there. Before JWST, the Hubble Space Telescope also observed K218b, but it didn't show as much detail. JWST gave a much clearer picture. K218b is located in the habitable zone of its star. That means it could have the right temperature range to support liquid water. The star it orbits is a cool dwarf star, and there aren't many other planets nearby. This makes it easier for JWST to study without interference. Scientists are especially interested in K218b because planets like it are so different from anything we've seen close to home. Some believe K218b could be an ocean world, completely covered by water and surrounded by a thick, hydrogen-rich atmosphere. One molecule that JWST might have found there is dimethyl sulfide. On Earth, this is only made by living things in the ocean. If dimethyl sulfide is truly present, it could be a major clue that life may exist on K218b. But more observations are still needed to confirm it. A team from the University of Cambridge is leading this research. They hope future data from JWST will confirm the presence of life-related molecules. Even if the planet has signs of life-supporting chemicals, it might still not be friendly to life. The air may be too thick, hot, or full of pressure. These harsh conditions could stop water from staying liquid, which would make life harder or even impossible to exist there. This is why scientists need more time and more data. They can't make strong conclusions without careful research and multiple observations. JWST uses a method called transmission spectroscopy to study planets. It watches how light from a star passes through a planet's atmosphere. As the starlight moves through the air around a planet, it carries tiny details about the gases there. This tells scientists what the planet's air is made of. This is how JWST studies planets we can't go to. It reads their atmospheres through light, giving us a closer look without leaving Earth. 
The telescope isn't only studying planets. It's also looking at galaxies far beyond our own. In some of these galaxies, it found signs of water and chemicals. One distant galaxy showed haze or smoke-like particles in its light. This means that complex molecules formed earlier than we thought. Some of these molecules are called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. On Earth, they are found in things like smoke, coal, and oil. Finding them in space tells scientists that the basic building blocks of life appeared very early in the universe's history. These molecules may have formed almost a billion years earlier than scientists once believed. That's a big shift in our understanding of the universe. The light JWST studied from one galaxy started traveling just 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. That light crossed the universe to reach us. Even though that galaxy is much younger than the Milky Way, it already had carbon and oxygen. These are elements needed for life. This tells us that galaxies and stars can change and develop faster than we previously thought. Life-supporting elements were already being formed. Every time JWST looks into space, it teaches us something new about the universe. It shows human curiosity and the desire to explore, to search, and to discover. It reminds us that even the most distant stars and planets are not out of reach. Space is not empty, it's full of secrets waiting to be found. JWST is slowly uncovering those secrets, one planet, one galaxy, and one molecule at a time. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.